Today is October 4, 2016. This poodle has been having vomiting and diarrhea for five days. Sometimes after eating the food, it vomits out. Now, she is not spayed female, five months old. And uh, other than that, she's quite active. The stools are becoming smaller in size. And uh, other than that, I, I did abdominal palpation, no pain, but lots of gas in the anterior abdomen. And uh, as you can see, he was a bit pale. Now the owner didn't want a blood test and uh, she's on drip now so there's less dehydration now has to what's the cause of the vomiting and diarrhea we will see the x-ray the x-ray will be here let me see the x-rays now we can see the x-rays now the x-rays, the ventral dorsal view, the ventral dorsal view of the x-ray, you can see the stomach is impacted with something. According to the owner, the photo did eat sponge from the sofa. So you can see the stomach is like a ball, as if there is some things and circling it inside the stomach and there's a lot of gas those bubble you can see clearly bubbling bubble and uh, slightly radio dense mass in the intestines and uh, it seems that uh, this is the descending colon is uh, full of gas so this is a poodle female not spay five months vomiting and diarrhea for five days. Might have swallowed sponges and other things as well. Of course, five year, five month old poodle, they like to put everything in the mouth. So now we see the other view. Now this view is a lateral view. Now, as uh, I did palpit the abdomen, the anterior abdomen is not painful, but there's a lot of gas and I asked the owner to, to listen to the gas when I palpated the, the anterior abdomen as you can see definitely there's a lot of what looks like either food or sponge with gas inside the stomach and the intestines in the anterior the front part of the abdomen and uh, as you can see there's also a lot of gas more gas in the long in, uh, large intestines and of the bladder is a bit full the kidney looks okay but uh, there's no no blood test is is wanted by the owner so I won't know whether there's any uh, kidney disorder which can cause vomiting or so and uh, diarrhea sometimes yeah. so overall the diagnosis based on x-ray could be gastroenteritis and the complaint is that sometimes the dog vomits after eating as well but sometimes not after eating so from what you can see the stomach is impacted impacted with uh, maybe sponge and other food so you can see the stomach actually is more like a ball full of things it could be sponges cloth socks and anything inside mixed with food uh, you can't uh, really see such a such a spherical ball of stomach normally the stomach is not so circular and uh, normally the stomach is filled with gas, some gas. So we are giving a drip to to uh, prevent dehydration, five days of vomiting, and also glucose and uh, some protein, and then 
probably a laxative to get the uh, impacted stomach and intestines to move the sponges and other things out to the large intestines and then to pass out in the rectum this is the plan for this poodle